Setting up the Apprentice Doctor Phlebotomy and IV Skills Training Arm Kindly note that minor variations in the content of the box are possible due to manufacturing variables. The Apprentice Doctor Simulation Arm comes in a convenient carry box. Unboxing the arm is quite easy. Open and unpack the following items. The Phlebotomy Simulation Training Arm One of the two reservoir containers with tubes attached Small packet of connectors also used as lumen stoppers, syringe with needle and or scalp needle, and the various metal parts used to assemble the stand. The following are extra items that will be required and are not included in the box. Paper towels, a large plastic container, a smaller plastic container. IV practice arm setup instructions. 1. Remove the plastic covers from the arm and other items and gather on a work surface. 2. Place a protective cover or paper towels on the work surface. 3. Assemble the stand by removing the nut and washer and connecting the stand to the base or footpiece. Tie in the nut firmly by hand. 4. Some stand models have suction cups that fit into the stand's footpiece. Place the cups as indicated. 5. Secure the extension part of the stand unextended. 6. Fill a container with water or saline and red food colorant and stir a bit. 7. Proceed with assembling the reservoir container. 8. If not pre-assembled, attach the handle of the container by pushing it over the two plastic posts on the container lid. It is a good idea to secure with some glue as to prevent the handle accidentally slipping off. The reservoir container has a lid with an inflow tube for connecting an IV bag if one would wish to do so. This is neither essential nor necessary. An IV bag is not supplied in the box. 9. For now, close this inflow roller clamp. The container has an outflow tube connected at the bottom. We will be referring exclusively to the outflow tube in the balance of the instructions. Close the outflow tube roller clamp. 10. Open the lid of the reservoir container and fill the container about two-thirds or three-quarters with regular water colored water or saline. 11. Cover the lid securely. If the lid is not secured properly, it may slip off unexpectedly during a practice session and cause a great mess. 12. Suspend the reservoir container to the cross arm of the stand. 13. Press the drip chamber once or twice. 14. Open the outflow roller clamp and allow the fluid and all air bubbles to flow out of the tube and into the small container. Once all the air bubbles are out, close the roller clamp again. 15. The arm's latex tubes have clip clamps. Ensure that both are open at this stage. 16. Attach a connector to the outflow tube of the reservoir container and attach this connector to one of the arm's latex tubes. 17. Important note. If you are allergic to latex, please avoid touching the arm tubes. 18. At this stage, the outflow tube roller clamp is closed and both arm tubes clip clamps are open. 19. Place the small plastic container under the other arm tube and open the roller clamp, allowing the fluid to run through the arm tubes. 20. Once the fluid is pouring into the small container, close the clip clamp at the exit side of the arm's tube. Important note. Both the outflow roller clamp as well as the clamp on the tube with a connector should be in the open position, while the clip clamp at the exit side of the arm should be in the closed position for all phlebotomy practice procedures. The arm is now ready for performing phlebotomy simulation procedures. Have fun! At the end of the training practice session, 1. Close the roller clamp and move to a basin. Open all clamps and allow the fluid to drain into the basin. Flush the container and tubes with water and allow to drain and dry. 2. Replace the arm and all items into the box. The Apprentice Doctor Phlebotomy Arm will withstand hundreds if not thousands of needle sticks. Here are some practical hints to ensure one gets maximum benefit out of the arm. 1. There are veins at the dorsum of the hand and the ventral surface of the arm, the basilic and the cephalic veins. Vary the phlebotomy puncture veins in areas. Do not overuse one specific area. 2. 
Use smaller diameter rather than bigger diameter needles to practice. A 21G or 22G needle will be better compared to an 18G needle, for instance. 3. Venus pressure is quite low and rarely exceeds 20 millimeters of mercury. To mimic this low pressure, do not put the reservoir container too high above the arm. 3 to 6 inches, 8 to 15 centimeters, is quite sufficient. This will also minimize the tendency of the tubes leaking. 4. The latex tubes tend to reseal after a needle stick. After a fair amount of use, the arm will start leaking, initially very slightly so. Allow the arm a disuse period of 2 to 3 weeks before using it again to allow the latex tubes to reseal. 5. After extensive use, like all phlebotomy training arms, the arm will start leaking. The apprentice doctor phlebotomy arms are favorably priced, thus we do not supply replacement skins and tubes. We recommend replacing the old arm with a new one. 6. Do not discard the old arm. It makes for an amazing tool for students to practice and perfect their suturing skills. The Apprentice Doctor Venipuncture Course and Kit complements the Apprentice Doctor Phlebotomy Training Arm to perfection. This is a remarkable course in phlebotomy and IV techniques with lots of items for practicing those skills. Visit www.theapprenticedoctor.com forward slash shop for more information or to order. Academic and bulk order discounts may apply.